Hello everyone, JRDL96 here with a brand new episode of Black Ops 2. Last time, I honestly don't even remember what happened last time because it feels like forever, it's been a long time, but not really. <laughs> but anyways, um, I wanted to like mention something quick. I Obviously yesterday on Sunday, uh, or depending if I somehow don't get this video up on Monday, who knows. Yesterday, on Sunday, I finally put up a creepypasta. Look, I apologize for the last three, the three-month hiatus that I've had in terms of reading one. Because I was more focused on trying to get a video up a day, every day, and usually, I, when I record, I usually record maybe, maybe like two, three, or even four videos a day. But usually, I don't get a chance to do that until, like, maybe around 11 o'clock at night. Because I work for most of the day. So, I have no really have enough time to really do it. So, they, so unfortunately, that's unfortunate. Well, you gotta work out, you gotta work on it somehow. And I'm usually up late editing and everything. Hopefully, well, not crazy late, but try to, like, I usually stay late up to, like, 2 a.m., and then I try to go to sleep, but whatever. So, yeah, finally, uh, I'm going to try to do, be consistent with the schedule in terms of the creepy the creepypasta schedule, the one, two, the two a month, one at the beginning of the month, and one at the end of the month. Trust me, there will be another one at the end of this month, the Metroid Mother Creepypasta, um, hopefully, <laughs> if I have time to read it, I will. So, enough rambling and enough, like, bullshitting. Well, let's just do some more team deathmatch and try not to rage. Not tri Try not to get triggered at nonsense in the game. Oh, Jesus. Okay, um, I wanted to mention this too, um, there's this person out there that inspired me to make edits of Mark, Markiplier, this user is, um, Cutieplier1995, she is one of the re the reason why I started making edits of Mark, like, look, I was made, I made edits before that, but they weren't Markiplier, they were just random edits I would come up with on the, like, for whenever, whenever, like, I made, like, Spider-Man, Harley Quinn, Batman vs. Superman, Mike Piazza from the Mets, no one really gave a shit about that one, Justice League, like, edits like those, but I never really, and maybe a little bit of Vanoss Gaming and Star Wars, but nothing really mark. Three, two, one, let's go. And remember, no prisoners. And remember, no prisoners. Remember to slice the rainbow. Just remember to taste the rainbow. Well, slice the rainbow, motherfucker. Hi, Spider-Man. How was band practice? How do I get him? How did I get the guy? How did I get this guy? He was behind a wall too, and he's—I still got him. That's unbelievable, man. But overall, yeah, in terms of like making edits of Markiplier and Dark or Darkiplier, whatever, anything Markiplier, Cutie Plier 1995 is the reason why I started. Because I just her edits to me stood out. It kind of stood out to me above the rest because they were more simple. And look, I'm not trashing or trashing any of the other people who make edits. They are fantastic as well. But I don't know what it is with me to me. But for some reason, the overabundance of transitions 
is annoying to me. And it's kind of a dis of kind of of a distraction to do crazy smooth transitions where there's one edit I remember seeing where the transition like, there was so many transit every clip had a transition like you had barely any time to see that one clip before the next transition began. It was kind of a no like distracting and I'm like trying to figure out what clip that was this person used and next thing you know the next clip has appeared I'm like what the fuck I didn't have any chance ch no chance to freaking look at it oh shit look that's fine it's fine if people like that then that's fine I'm not gonna trash you but it's just the it's kind of a distraction to me now look, it doesn't it doesn't mean that I'm never I never use I'll never use transitions. I will. I do sometimes. But not as distracting, but not as much. Like if it is if it's appropriate for a certain re, certain edit then I would, but usually I don't use transitions for edits. And for some, I'm so surprised that even people like my edits with, without even any of the transitions. I'm like blown away at it. I'm like, wow, that's un it's crazy. So getting to the point that I was trying to make with Cutie Plier. Um, not a few days ago, I was just I decided to make a cool clip using this editing software that I use to make edits on Cute Cut Pro which is obviously which is obviously an editing video editing software for your iOS and Android and also Mac I think as well but uh it allows like you can obviously put overlay you could overlay a video like you can put two videos together and make a cool like split screen effect um, not necessarily like a split screen effect but you can put two videos together and you can crop it in a way to make it look like there are two people just standing there so what I did obviously I was just bored and I wanted to try something cool I made a cool clip where obviously and no I'm not it's just me it's just dark applier and I looking at each other because I remember because if you don't follow my Instagram I did a cosplay reenactment of the dark applier scene from a date with Markiplier so that's what I did I took the scene where I go and he then he had to go to not invite me to onto his little adventure with you that part but I, the only thing I had to do was flip the video around like mirror make it a mirror version I had to flip the video around so it makes it look so it looks like that I'm looking at him because he's on the left and I'm on the right so I decided because I also had in mind ma to make an edit using that, like a plot twist edit with with that clip that's what I wanted that's what I did and a lot of people loved it so, I will mute you all for a second, but I don't know if I want to stay around, stick around, because I'm in the middle of trying to talk about something awesome. So obviously, a lot of people loved it. They were blown away by it. They couldn't believe it. They probably, they even, they to me, the some people were like that's not Cute Cup Pro. How the hell did you do that? And that's how I did it. I used Cute Cup Pro, and I cropped it in a way to make it look like that. The only thing I really needed to do that was more difficult was that the original video of me doing the reenactment was a little my the my the size of me in compared to him was small, so I had to zoom in a little bit to make it to make myself I guess match up with him a little, in a way. But I'm, I was really surprised that people loved it so much. Cutie Plier, as well, loved it so much. She loves mostly any of my cosplays and edits. 
I even told her that I, she is my inspiration, and she couldn't believe. She was just, she couldn't believe it. Holy shit, that was some bullshit, but okay. But anyway, a few days ago, after put, posting that up, posting it, I remember um, I was just screw, like going looking through Instagram, seeing some stuff, and then I got a notification. Like then I saw. Um, I was just scrolling because I was, I didn't, I was just scrolling Instagram to a point where there was no new notifications going on. So I refreshed like the, the feed and the first thing that came up was this edit by Cutie Plier that had me in it. And I was like, I was taken back. I was taken back by it. I was like, what? I'm like, are you... What the fuck? I I was blown away that she decided to make an edit of me. Because usually that's just weird like like I got to admit me making edits with featuring myself is weird because usually I don't know like you don't see that. You don't see yourself being edited in an edit. Like it's weird. No, it's kind of weird. Oh, he got knifed. He got demoted. Humiliation. Nope. No, you're not getting me. I know he's going to try. Oh shit. I was like blown away by it. I couldn't believe it. I really was taken back by it and I was like, oh my god, I can't believe it. I don't know why. Why? I might not be the greatest editor by all means, but. Oof. Stop doing that stupid ass MLG fucking kill. Fuck off. Oh, they're after me. Huh, <laughs> they were after me. They were hunting me down. I thought that was them. I'm like, oh shit, I gotta run. Gotta run. Gotta run. <laughs> Fuck, okay. So I, re like, I really, th I thanked her a lot. And a lot of people were happy for me. A lot of my internet friends were happy for me. Holy shit, this is crazy. It's freaking insane, man. Fuck. <laughs> she shouted me out on in the uh, post saying, if you want to see some cool cosplays of Wilford Warfstash, Google Plier, and Darker Plier, check him out. Fuck, I thought I got him. I didn't. Fuck me! Damn it! Ha! <laughs> gotcha! Before you demoted me. Before you got the chance to demote me. This is it. He killed himself, did he? Fuck. 
This is it. The moment of truth. Ah, But I ended up in second. You know, some people got set back. Huh. That was cool. He did a... He killed somebody. And then he spun around to kill him. But still, I remember seeing him, I saw one of them with the knife trying to do a 360, and I'm like, get the fuck out of here with that shit. Yeah, I was so uh, blown away, so... I'll sh uh, so, if you want to see some cool edits from her, Cutie Plier, check her out on Instagram. She's pretty awesome. But here's something that I, I don't know, I'm not going to question, but, I don't know, she, she's kind of weird to me, like, the way she, she kind of, like, takes a height, goes in hiatus for a while, for, like, which is, like, maybe a few days or a week, and then returns. But overall, I'm not going to, I'm not mad at that, it's just, to me, it's weird, I don't know. Well, maybe some things happen in her life that probably I don't need to know, which is fine. Whatever. Someone actually liked the clip of, um, that clip. Someone else actually liked the clip I, um, did of me looking at Dark that this person actually did like a fan art I guess of me looking at dark now I gotta be honest it looks like dark applier and purple dark applier <laughs> but I guess she said she claims that she was in the car one when, when doing that drawing so I know it's understandable why but overall I think the uh, the drawing and fan art looks freaking cool I'm gonna po like, uh, hold on. Let me show you right now. As you could see, yeah, he had to go to not invite me to his little adventure with you. She, I actually saw on her Instagram, she did a live, she was doing a live video on Instagram earlier today. And when I, and when I got into the live video, she kind of like became surprised and she was like, oh my gosh, oh my god. She's like, and there was somebody else who was watching she, and he, the guy's like, the person, the other person was like, what the, f what, what, what's going on? And she's like, well, he's here. My idol's here. And I'm like, I don't see myself as like it's kind of weird that I'm an, considered an idol. Like I will take that honor, but to me it's kind of weird. To me it's kind of weird, and not knocking it in any way. I'm not knocking it, which is totally fine. But it's it was a pretty awesome that she decided to do a um, I guess a little cool fan art of that. Holy shit, point blank is, point blank, he point blankly, he point blankly decided to do that to me. <laughs> Fuck, yeah, sniper rifle is so OP, Jesus, Jesus Christ. That's a Michael Bay moment if I ever seen. Oh shit. <laughs> I don't know, I gotta see that one again. Because I got out and he was already back in. Is that what happened? Oh I see. Oh heads up. He just got shot. 
I mean, I might not be doing so well because I'm trying to talk to you guys, whoever's the, the few people that, are, or even no, I'm just probably talking to myself right now because probably no one's watching this. I see. Still got him. Oh, man. Fuck, mate. Fuck, mate. The fuck, mate. Come on. Oh, come on. I thought that was a guy. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, that was close. I almost got killed by that crossbow. Lock me. Lock me. Okay. Don't do the MLG shit. It's an annoying as hell. I didn't see you. I couldn't see where the fuck I was going after that because it was just nonsense. Alright. But overall, I think, um... I thought that what it, the fan art that she did was freaking awesome she was like Markiplier more like James Applier I'm like oh god no and she's like I think I might have just shipped it I'm like oh god no <laughs> no I don't want it I don't want that shipped <laughs> cause I'm not Mark Way different than Mark. Horrible. But overall, anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe, share this video with your friends. Be sure to also check out my Instagram, as I've said, or this whole freaking, talked about this whole fucking video. I make cool edits of Mark, Jacksepticeye, even myself. I also have done reenactments and even some voiceovers. So, until next time, JRDL96 signing out, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.